Hi, I'm Mrs. Crowder, and this is my classroom. I thought it would be a great way to introduce um, myself to my students and their parents by making a little video about some of the things that you might see in my classroom and wonder what's going on with that. So first off, um, how about this? Uh, this is my 1517 water bottle. Gotta stay hydrated in the desert. But 1517 is an organization that is really all about the Reformation and the gospel. And so in 1517 is when Martin Luther nailed the uh, 95 theses to the Wittenberg church door. And I am a junior fellow with 1517. They do a lot of articles and uh, conferences talking about kind of historic Christianity and the true message of the gospel, which is the good news, which is Jesus' sacrifice is for you. So I love 1517. I love my 1517 water bottle. Another thing that you might see in my classroom are some books because I love to read books. Um, these are two of my favorite books. I actually love studying theology. I've been studying theology since I was undergrad. I got my undergrad degree in theology. I got my master's in 2020 uh, at Concordia University Irvine in Reformation history, theology. And actually this year I'm starting my PhD. And so I want to learn more about uh, Thomas Cramner and also learning about Justice Jonas who is a uh, German reformer and so I am starting to learn German so those are some things about me another thing that you might see is I got my flame mug flame is a Lutheran rapper and he does a lot of really cool things because not only is he a talented artist but he also has done a lot of theological journey right and so he's a Lutheran rapper and he's been making a lot of content that is all about sacraments like the Lord's Supper and recently his latest album is all about baptism so I really love that um, oh here I have a little gift from a student, a little Psyduck that a student made for me. I love Pokemon. I love especially Pokemon Go. In fact, I have my Go Plus in my pocket because I love to uh, catch Pokemon and, and play with that. So if you're a Pokemon Go player, please let me know and we can uh, maybe do some raids together or something like that. This is an ocarina. It's a little uh, flute-like instrument, and I used to, when I worked in St. Louis, I used to be a professional photographer and cinematographer, and I did a lot of videos for St. Louis Ocarina, and so I have a lot of ocarinas, and they're just kind of fun to, to play around with. So just a few things about me, but a couple things about you uh, that I need for you each day is to make sure you're prepared for class, and on the first day of school, you're going to be getting your own study Bible. This is a Lutheran study Bible. You're gonna use it for all four years, so you wanna take good care of it. It comes from a box. You might wanna keep the box with you. And what we have in here is not just the Bible in the top, but all of these really important study notes to help you understand it. So we have scripture on the top, and then this editorial content on below. And so that is a really useful tool that you're gonna have every day in class. And another thing you're gonna need are headphones and I know a lot of you have AirPods and I'm not gonna forbid AirPods but I kind of am because what happens with AirPods is people lose them and then I feel so bad and I don't want you to lose your AirPods or sometimes they're not charged so you need one with this kind of little um, aux cord that will plug into your computers because on Mondays and Tuesdays we're going to be using our headphones and sometimes on other days to do Edpuzzle videos on your computer. So make sure that you have your computer and make sure that you have your, you know, this is like $8 at uh, Target. You can get it on Amazon or, or something like that. So make sure you have that. And then finally something I want to talk about is your phone. Okay, so um, I know a lot of you are using your phones and something that's very important for you is to come into class full of energy. So I'd like to challenge you to think of a new way of how you are with your phone and try to find a place for your phone at night where you can charge it with your computer and kind of set it away from yourself at night when you're sleeping because rest is super important and research shows you are not getting enough sleep. And so make sure that you're taking a break from your phone at night, putting it in a, maybe in another room uh, and that way you can get the best amount of sleep. I'm really looking forward to studying the Bible with you this year. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I look forward to getting to know you better throughout the school year.